Our next winner is Jim McGill. The McGill family business was launched at the turn of the century by James H. McGill, the company that would manufacture tank bearings during World War II and invent cam follow bearings and electrical components in the second half of the 20th century, moved to Valparaiso in 1905. At one time, McGill Manufacturing employed 1,500 people with sales of about 50 million. In 1990, McGill was sold to Emerson Power Transmission, but by then, the seeds had been sown for the larger vision of the McGill family's tradition of local philanthropy. Jim McGill learned from his father to get involved and make a difference, and he, in turn, taught his children to be thankful and generous as well. We thank him for his many contributions to Northwest Indiana, including his constant example of humility and belief in making a difference. Please join me in honoring Jim McGill. I'm probably the oldest guy in this room. <laughs> but, uh, it comes on pretty quick when you're busy. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I want to thank the, uh, I always say by that messenger because I'm that old, but I want to thank the Times Management and the company for this uh, occasion, and also I'm pleased to have the governor here. The last governor I talked to was High, Terrell, High Taxes Harold Henley. He was from Laporte, Indiana, and then we had another guy that was a, uh, our governor, a good one. And they're both from north of Route 40. Before that, they were all south of there, it seemed like. And that was uh, Bowen, Governor Bowen. And then, um, of course, I knew Birch Bay. Uh, was that Governor Bay or was that his son? <laughs> I forget. I forget. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> it seems like at one part of my life, I was uh, down in Indianapolis when I was in Valparaiso because I'm on a lot of committees and with the state chamber and the Commission for Higher Education, which I never could figure out how I ever got on that. But it doesn't have anything to do with your grades, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> the, uh, the one thing I'm thankful for, besides my wonderful wife, Johanna, which uh, we're getting up almost 65 years now. I've been blessed with a wonderful family that have really uh, stayed by me, and, and I hadn't stayed by them too much because I was gone a lot, but they put up with me, and uh, it's turned out now in my later years that we really get along together and have a good time. Um, there's so many people I want to thank, especially when I was in business. Some of the guys are out here now. Uh, <clears throat> But my granddad, when he started the company, I knew him for about 20 years of my life when he died in 48. And uh, he didn't teach me enough, but he, he made me responsible for who I was, which I didn't know who I was, but he always said, don't ever forget you're a McGill and to give back to your community what you get out of it. And hell, I could never get enough back because that, that's what made our company with it. The workers we had at the end, we're even like third generation. You don't hear that anymore, but that was another day, and it won't come back. But uh, for small business, I was always a leader in that. My son, also Charlie McGill. Uh, just uh, a lot of people really helped me to get where I got, and uh, especially my granddad, because I was born McGill. <laughs> and that. Uh, it makes a difference sometimes. It, uh, it wasn't too easy because people always said, oh, you've got it made, you're born in the business. But I was, so I made the best of it and uh, tried to make it better before I got out. And I had a lot of people to thank for that. So everybody here today, thanks for coming and uh, wish you all well. And thanks so much for this award. Appreciate it. <laughs>